Now we're moving into a different kind of SAT chemistry question. And these are your classification set questions. Classification sets. In these questions, you're going to be given, in this case, we have three problems, sometimes more. And you have to pick the choice, A, B, C, D, E, that describes or goes with this particular selection. Now, as you can see, we've got three questions and five choices, so clearly we're not going to be using two of these at least. In addition, sometimes you can repeat choices, so it's possible that you know two or all, all of them, even technically, could be one of these single choices. So you can use a choice once, more than once, or not at all. So let's work through them. Reaction of silver ion with chloride ion in water solution. Okay, so we're mixing uh, silver ion, which is Ag+, plus, plus chloride ion, which is Cl-. And what happens? Well, if we think about your solubility rules, we look on the chloride. Chloride is soluble except with Ag+. Plus. So that tells us that this AgCl by the solubility rules is insoluble. So it will drop out of solution as a precipitate. Precipitate. Which means, of course, that reaction of silver ion with chloride ion is A, a precipitation reaction. Electrolysis of water to form hydrogen and oxygen gases. So this is basically the splitting of water using electricity. So the equation looks something like this. We have two waters, and we form two hydrogen gases and an oxygen gas. And this is done with electricity, as I said, and it's kind of the opposite to the galvanic or voltaic cell. Galvanic or voltaic cell, you, it happens spontaneously, generates electricity for you. In electrolysis, we have to put energy in to get this process to go. It doesn't happen spontaneously. So as you might expect, this is an oxidation reduction reaction because oxidation reduction is all about the transfer of electrons. It's all about electricity. Reaction of iron filings with powdered sulfur. So this one's a bit trickier. So we got iron filings, that's solid metal. And we are adding it to powdered sulfur, which is solid, pure sulfur. So what's going to happen here? Well, if you think about it, Fe and S, they can combine together to form FeS, right? We imagine that this is a 2 plus eventually, and that this would be a 2 minus. So they'll combine in a 1 to 1 ratio. And what happens is, well, in order for this to happen, this guy's two electrons are going to have to be transferred to the S, right? It's going to make this 2 plus and this 2 minus. So it's a full transfer of electrons, and then therefore they're going to link with an ionic bond. But since we have a transfer of electrons, whenever you hear that phrase, again, you should think of oxidation reduction. So this is actually another example of an oxidation reduction reaction, because in this process of reaction, iron has to transfer two of its electrons to sulfur in order to link together uh, as such. So we used A and B. Let's just talk about the other three so we're clear on what they are. Distillation is a process used to separate generally liquids by, by, by boiling, vaporization. Used to separate, let me write that a little neater. Used to separate liquids with boiling. So you have different apparatus to do this. You need like a condenser and all these kinds of things. And I'm sure in a future video, we'll talk more about that. Hydration, basically a reaction that adds water to something. Um, different kinds of reactions, usually organic chemistry. Uh, also could be, you know, hydrating different other compounds that could be hydrated. But again, nothing here is about water, or at least the, hydro or the adding of water, I should say. Uh, condensation, this is, there are two things. It's the removal of water if it's a condensation reaction, so two things linked together and water falls out, but that's not what I think they, what they mean here. I think what they mean is condensation as going from a gas to a liquid, so a phase change. And again, nothing like that happens here. So the best choice, best answers here are A, B, and B.